In this video, we will walk you through how to use the BST22 sensor with the ESP32 microcontroller to measure temperature and humidity. We will also simulate the entire process using Vokvi. The DST is a simple temperature and humidity sensor. It has three pins VCC for power, ground, GND, and data for communication. The sensor communicates with the ESP32 using a digital signal. And we have this ESP32 board to interface with the DST sensor. In the Vokvi simulator, start by adding the ESP32 dev board and the DST22 sensor. DST VCC goes to the 3.3 volt pin of the ESP32. Ground of the sensor goes to ground on ESP32 and the data for the sensor goes to GPIO 15 on the ESP32. With the hardware setup, let's move to the code. First, we will need to include the DST library to interface with the sensor. If you are using the Arduino ID, you can install it via the library manager. Let's start coding. We will define the DST22 sensor and set the correct pin for the data line, which is 15. Then in the setup function, we will initialize the serial mode communication and the DST sensor, which is DST.begin. We also add a one second delay to allow the sensor to initialize properly. In the loop function, we will read the temperature and humidity values from the DST sensor every two seconds. Read humidity and read temperature function to get the sensor data. If the readings fail for some reason, we display an error message. Otherwise, we print the values to the serial monitor. Now let's run the simulation in Vokvi. When we click start simulation, the temperature and humidity reading will show up on the serial monitor in real time. As you can see, every two seconds, the temperature and humidity readings update in the serial monitor. You can test different environment changes by simulating humidity and temperature values in the Vokvi simulator. Great job, you have now learned how to use the DST sensor with the ESP32 to read temperature and humidity data. Make sure to check out the next video where we will explore more advanced sensor and application for the ESP32. Thank you. We will see you in the next video.